Well, see you soon. See you soon. So there you go. That's the scammers side of things. Yeah. But actually, anxiety over paying bills in general is only too real this winter, especially as it's costing more than ever to heat our homes. Yeah, so Don Littlewood has been to see how houses built in a factory are cutting heating bills down to as little as £20 a month. The cost of living crisis shows no signs of slowing down. Many people are worried about how they're going to afford the energy to run their homes, but there are major changes underway into how we build the homes we live in. Now this might look like an ordinary house, but it was actually built in a factory. Here in North Yorkshire, this company is doing what they can to build more energy efficient homes using a kit of parts that are put together on a production line. Nigel Banks is the research and development director. Fantastic to meet you. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Well, we've got loads to show you. We make the floor, add the walls, add the ceiling, and we fully finish the house inside and out. We then transport that to the building site, land it on the foundations, add a first floor, add a roof, and we've got a, a house that's built in an hour on site to what would normally take months. Where is this better than the traditional method of bricks and tiled roof and insulation on site? We've got um, the insulation is continuous around the house without joints and gaps. It's built in the dry. Incredibly, these homes are so well insulated, the company are able to offer an option where you don't pay for your energy. People can upgrade to a, a zero carbon home. So we have our standard home with solar panels and a heat pump, but also we have a battery in those homes. So that stores the energy from the solar panels and allows the, the energy bill to be to zero over the entire year. The factory is arranged around three different assembly lines and is capable of building up to 2,000 homes every year. Explain to me why they are so energy efficient. So here we have a full set of walls for a ground floor module. And you can see there's, there's four inches of insulation within the steel frame. Yep. Then we have this uh, the sheathing board and there's a, a drain cavity and there's another four inch of insulation goes on the outside of that before you have your bricks or your render. So there's effectively 200 millimetres or 8 inch of insulation between the outside cold air and your nice warm inside air. Once the walls have been constructed, they are put on the bases and ceiling line where they are put together. So we now have the, the floor, the walls, the internal walls, the last piece of the jigsaw is adding the ceiling. But before we have to do that, we have to add the staircase in. So we lift the stair in and then we add the ceiling on top and then we've got the basic uh, structure of a detached house. Wow. It's very, very efficient, isn't it? Once each module is assembled, it's on to the very final part of the process, where all the final touches are made to make the modules feel like homes. So final quality check's been done here, ready before the module is then lifted onto a, onto a trailer and transported to site. So we now have the kitchen is fitted behind you, the radiators are in, all the, all the wiring, plumbing connections tested. So the home is now painted and decorated on the inside and finished. So when it goes to site, the final connections are made. There's electrical connections, plumbing connections, the drainage, the brickwork on the outside. So there's very limited work to do on site to, to finish the home off. Let's talk about the, the important thing, cost. How would this compare to a house of the same size using traditional methods? So we have the extra cost of, of, of having a factory overhead and transport to site, but we're faster on site compared to on-site traditional levels where you're influenced by the weather and availability of trades. So overall, the net position that currently is we're about the same sort of price as traditional construction. With 300,000 new homes needed annually to meet current demand, the aim is to build 75,000 new modular homes every year by 2030. Sam Winch lives in a modular home in Newark-on-Trent. What made you decide to go down the route of buying this type of building? Initially, it was, it was just potluck, and I was completely naive to actually the fact that it was a modular build. I, I did think it was a, a normal house, if you like. It's been just over two years now. It's brilliant. Why is it so good? Well, I mean, the cost, the cost of living at the moment, obviously, is, is astronomical. But living here, the, the bills are just so cheap. I'm paying about £22, £25 pounds electric and gas a month. Um, and that's in, that's in the winter time as well. Do you find that the heat is re is retained in the building for longer? Yeah, absolutely. We've put the heating on as soon as I walked in. We'll have it on for half an hour or so, and then that hopefully will be 
be off for the, for the next week or so. It, it, it's retained throughout the house, both downstairs and upstairs. It's, it's fantastic. Is there anything that you would say is a downside to it? I'd like to pick a, a few thoughts, but I, I really can't. I'm happy to stay here for the future. And actually, if I was to move on, um, I'd certainly speak to people that, that build these modular homes about building perhaps a, um, a bespoke house for myself um, that was a modular build. Historically, getting a mortgage on a modular home has been difficult, but this isn't something Sam experienced. You bought the house, I know, but uh, did you have any problems with the mortgage? Were they a bit reluctant because of the way it was built? No, no problems at all. It all went swimmingly and we got through and I'm, I'm just grateful. We absolutely love it here. It's great to hear that Sam is so pleased with his property, but because of the materials used and the construction methods, modular homes could be more complicated to maintain, repair and make alterations to, such as extensions. Because they are not built of stone or brick, they could be considered to be a non-standard construction and could be harder to ensure. Also, because of bias against modular homes, there could be a reduction in resale value compared to traditionally built properties. But the savings to be made through energy efficiency, for some people, balance that out. So let's see them in action. For comparison, on the same day in similar weather conditions, Nigel starts by taking a heat-seeking camera to Sam's neighbour Melissa, who lives just a few doors away in a home of a similar age built in a traditional way. So if we look at the, the thermal imaging camera, we can see where the heat is escaping from the property. Yeah. So you can see on the front door the temperature is around sort of eight degrees. Yeah. Uh, you can see there's see the also heat. different, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. you've got that, that brighter colour. You can see it on the windows as well. Before carrying out similar tests at Sam's house. Yeah, when you look at the walls, the walls are at sort of seven degrees. On the neighbouring house we went to look at earlier, it was up at eight, eight and a half degrees. The house is the same temperature as the, as the, as the outside air, so there's actually no heat's coming through that wall at all. Of course, this is just comparing two houses, but there is more energy being lost from the traditional new build home than Sam's modular home. A cost of living crisis and energy bills soaring. Anything that could offer a solution to these problems is, of course, going to be very welcome. As for buying a house off the back of a lorry, well, that's not everyone's cup of tea. But modular houses may well be something that becomes more commonplace in our towns and cities in the future. Well, I did find that fascinating. I was surprised that it costs more or less the same to build a modular house. But what's more surprising is the difference that it makes in those energy bills. The energy costs, yeah, 25 quid a yeah, month. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. crazy. You see what's attractive, can't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, everyone's thinking about heating at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and actually, it's not just heating bills.